Hi everyone, Scott with Cyberscribe.org and in this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade your SonicWalls firmware and uh, today we're going to be upgrading from 5.8.1.15 to the new tree which is 5.9.1.1 uh, that's for the uh, this TZ205 that I have here so uh, in previous videos uh, I showed you how to factory default and then you know include this new uh, new firmware but this is an older tree so what we're going to do and the reason why we're getting all of these uh, Firefox recommends you don't enter these security warnings is because of the uh, self-signed certificate on this using older uh, older protocols that are going to be uh, deprecated either this year or next year so 5911 should take care of that and uh, once we get done we'll have a little bit of a different interface and we shouldn't be getting these security errors uh, just a side note if you're using your firewall for anything that requires PCI compliance uh, you probably already know this but you need to upgrade to 5911 it's mandatory uh, just because of the certificates and uh, I believe uh, you would just if you did a PCI compliance scan on this firmware it would fail because of the uh, because of the certificates that are that are outdated and things that's part of the reason that 5911 was created was for the PCI compliance stuff so uh, all right. So what you want to do is, and I'm not going to show you how to do this because it should. I mean, if you're this far, you've already had your uh, your Sonic Wall registered in My Sonic Wall. So that's where you go and download the new firmware is uh, MySonicWall.com, and there should be a My Downloads page, and then you should have uh, you know firmware options to download for all of your registered devices. So that's where you download it from, and uh, after that. Just keep that file. It uh, ends in SIG. That's the uh, firmware file. So just uh, keep that in the back of your mind. And uh, we shouldn't have an issue. Well, we won't have an issue here because I'm just upgrading the firmware on this new uh, this new device. But just get in the habit if you work with Sonic Walls regularly, or if you're moving from one Sonic Wall to another. Uh, it's what they call the support matrix here. And just make sure that your firmware is let's see if we can get no we can't get it well let's see there we go uh, just make sure that your firmware is the new firmware that you're going to is compatible all right so for us in this situation it's not a big deal because we're at 58115 and we're going to be moving to 5911 okay so it's not a big deal but for example if you're on a different device that had 59 firmware you wouldn't be able to go to 6.1.1 you'd have to go to 6.2.2 so just uh, keep this in the back of your mind when you do firmware double check on if you can do the firmware or not so like I said just a tip and let's get started on the this one here so what you're gonna do is log into your sonic wall go into settings and then this is your firmware management page so you see I just have the one here and the first video I did we did it with factory default settings so that took everything back to cleared out all the settings went back to the uh, 192, 168, 168, 168 uh, default IP we're not doing that here we're going to basically carry over our settings from 58115 to the new 5911 firmware so what you do just go click on upload your firmware and let me get that uh, from my computer here and Give me a minute while I find it. There we go. Okay. So, like I said, SIG, this is 5911 firmware for the TZ205. Also, just double check when you're uh, doing it, that not that you downloaded it for the wrong thing. Uh, I've seen it happen where people have been pretty careless in doing firmware upgrades and they just have to redo their whole system. So you don't want to be in that boat. We're just going to hit upload, we'll give it a minute, let it upload, and then once it does, we should see two new options here, and there we go. So, like I said, we do not want to do factory default settings in this situation, we just want to do upgraded, uploaded firmware. This is going to carry over our settings, so basically what this should do is we're just going to boot to this here, and then it should just upgrade the, you know, with the boot, with the reboot, it should upgrade uh, with the current settings that we have. So I'm just going to do that here and I'm just going to go click boot. Yes. And you know what? 
let's do that too. Just to be safe, I've already done it, but so you know, good practice, export your settings. And just save it. Okay. So, we have our settings saved, and uh, we're ready to boot to our new firmware. So let's just go ahead and boot. We're done, and yes, yes. Okay, it says it takes up to four minutes to complete. I don't think it's going to, uh, but while we are rebooting, and see you have this little thing down here, okay? So, while we're doing that, let me just kind of go back over the this uh, support matrix page. So, uh, typically with Sonic Walls, what you do is you buy, you know, you buy uh, like a bundle. So they have uh, gateway antivirus bundled with anti-spyware, bundled with uh, firmware upgrades, bundled with support. Okay. So, and I know this because I, uh, full disclosure, used to work at Sonic Wall. So, what you do is usually there is a like a support. Uh, you know a support option which most people get because it's not that much extra well the thing is this is this whole firmware business is pretty important if you're going to be using the sonic wall support because for example if you go and upgrade if you go from 59 to 61 number one it's not going to work properly it might work for you but it's not intended and it wasn't tested and it it has been known to be buggy and have problems with that so, say for example, you go and you call support, and they have a ticket for you, and they're looking through your stuff, and you have a, you know, my my this isn't working, okay? They go, and if they see that you did an unsupported firmware upgrade, they're not going to help you. They're going to say it's an unsupported firmware upgraded. You need a uh, unsupported firmware upgrade. You need to get on a correct path, and then we'll talk to you. So that's why you do want to be careful about the. Uh, the firmwares that you uh, import and things like that. So number one, and there's two different types of like being careful you have to be here. So number one is uh, the firmware itself. Okay, like uh, five nine does not six one does not go into five nine. Five eight is good, but you know different devices have different types of firmware. So let's just see. Okay, so we're back already, but let me just show you one more thing here. Is there's more than just the firmware itself. There's different products too. So for example, let's say my TZ205, uh, let's go down, I have a bunch of them, but let's say here, my TZ205, and let's say I get a, uh, where are we at? Okay, and then I get, you know, I get NSA 2400 or one of these higher level ones. Well, your firmware is not going to, it's not gonna be supported, okay? You'll be able to do it, and that's kind of the problem. But if you're on, if you're talking to support, they're not going to help you if they see that this is an incorrect path. Okay. So for example, these NSA 250s, uh, you know, these are not, these are pretty, you know, people. Oh well, I I did this and I went from, you know, an NSA 250M to something else, and well, look, it's not supported. So just be aware. It depends on the support person you get. If they catch this, then Depending, they should not help you because that's kind of just how it works. But uh, just be aware, you want to make sure that if you're going from different devices, make sure you know it matches up and make sure as well that your firmware matches up right here. Okay, so uh, hopefully that wasn't too long. Let's log back in and we'll see how uh, we're a little different. Make sure we're running 5911. So. Okay, and another thing, just uh, I had a constant ping running, so where did it, uh, well, anyways, that's a, that's a good way to tell where it dropped off, see it dropped off for a little bit, not that long, not as long as it says, but uh, you know, sometimes it is as long as it says, so don't expect everything to be quick. Uh, okay, so now we're in the new 5911 firmware, you see right here, a uh, little bit different settings. Let's reboot, or not reboot, but refresh. We do not have this uh, stuff here. Now, if we look, yes, connection is not secure. Uh, more information. So TLS 1.2. All right, 
So that's one of the reasons why you were having problems before uh, why Firefox was throwing the error because the self-signed certificate was TLS, I believe, 1.0. So uh, that's the reason. But like I said, PCI compliance, you've probably already done this or you've probably run into a problem requiring this action. Uh, other than that, this is the newer firmware. Uh, you know, it, it works pretty well. I mean, there's no real huge different between, difference between this and the other one. But, you know, you don't have those certificate issues and there might be a few more uh, few more features on this as opposed to 58115 but pretty much everything else is in the same place I mean you have your status here um, you know your networking and, and interfaces and all that stuff I didn't lose my uh, internet connectivity so that's good uh, keep in mind remember I have my DHCP uh, not uh, you know not a static IP so, uh, so that's really it like I said uh, settings here import firmware and then if you want to keep your settings go to current firmware and just make sure you're importing on a correct firmware path and if you're doing from one device to another make sure they're compatible too uh, once you do those things you should be good to go and it's really not that big of a deal to uh, do that and also just export export your settings get a copy of your settings file before you do any changes that way if something does get bungled you just import your settings and you go back you save a lot of headaches this way, so just uh, something you want to keep in mind. Alright, that's all I had for this video, and stay tuned for future videos.